With the arrival of Airbus's new A321XLR, the aviation industry is about to undergo a significant transformation. This aircraft represents a significant change in our perception of medium to long-haul air travel, building on the success of its already well-liked predecessors while introducing even more groundbreaking capabilities. However, there is still much uncertainty about how the A321XLR will change the aviation industry. The Airbus A321XLR is redefining long-haul travel and changing the economics of the aviation industry. As you'll see later in this video, even its closest competitors aren't safe because the single-aisle aircraft can travel routes previously only used by wide-body jets, which is changing the way airlines approach network planning and fleet management. At the center of the A321XLR's capabilities is its unique rear center tank, which significantly increases fuel capacity without compromising any cargo space. What does this mean for Boeing, Airbus's biggest rival? This amazing engineering feat enables the aircraft to fly longer while retaining the narrow body jet's cost benefits. The end result is a 30% reduction in fuel consumption per seat when compared to competitive aircraft of earlier generations. The capabilities of the aircraft even extend to the development of routes and airport infrastructure. Long-haul flights may now be operated by smaller airports without the infrastructure needed for wide-body aircraft. Additionally, the increased fuel efficiency of these flights results in lower carbon emissions per passenger, which helps airlines comply with stricter environmental laws and corporate sustainability objectives. Furthermore, the Airbus A321XLR is poised to transform airline route networks by providing unparalleled flexibility and unlocking novel market prospects. Furthermore, it will grant Airbus an unparalleled competitive edge, which will be evident in this video in due course. One of the most important effects of the A321XLR is its capacity to make long-haul routes profitable. These are routes where demand is high enough to support direct service, but low enough to fill a larger wide-body aircraft. For instance, the aircraft could allow direct flights from smaller European cities to the US East Coast. Carriers like Iceland Air, which intends to replace its 18 Boeing 757s with A321XLRs, find this capability especially appealing. The A321XLR can accomplish more than the 757 and will cover almost all of North America, according to Iceland Air's head of revenue management, giving the airline a very unique position in the market. But it gets even better. In addition, the A321XLR has the potential to provide point-to-point -point services that avoid crowded hubs. This might result in a partial departure from the conventional hub-and-spoke model, giving passengers more direct travel alternatives and possibly cutting down on the length of airline journeys. This indicates that low-cost carriers are considering the A321XLR as a tool for expansion, as it would allow them to gain market share on routes that were previously unprofitable or required a larger aircraft. For example, Indigo has placed an order for 70 of these aircraft, which could enable it to create connections between secondary markets in India and locations in Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. This move could significantly upend the long-haul market because it enables Indigo to take on both Middle Eastern superconnectors and European legacy carriers. A move made possible in large part by Airbus's A321XLR. As impressive as the aircraft's operational capabilities are, Airbus hasn't left anything unnoticed. The A321XLR promises to change passenger expectations for future air travel by bringing an unprecedented level of comfort to long-haul travel on a single-aisle jet. One example of this is the aircraft's cabin design, which, despite being a narrow body, Airbus managed to create an interior that rivals the comfort of some wide-body jets. Compared to its Boeing competitors, the A320 family's broader fuselage allows for wider seats and more headroom. Airlines can customize the A321XLR's cabin to meet their specific market needs. For example, Iberia, one of the launch clients, expects to furnish. It's an A321XLR aircraft with 182 seats spread across two cabins, including 14 business class seats that can be converted into beds, providing direct aisle access and an extra degree of first-rate service. Usually exclusively linked to wide-body aircraft now for the most intriguing part, what does Airbus's largest rival, Boeing, stand to gain from the introduction of the new A321XLR? Well, for one, Boeing will no longer be able to match the A321XLR's ability to fill a niche, and it will also seriously challenge several of Boeing's present products. The aging Boeing 757, 
A flexible aircraft that has long been a mainstay for many carriers on longer routes can be easily replaced by the A321XLR. The popular A321XLR is no longer in production, and Boeing has struggled to provide a direct replacement. Positioning itself as the natural successor to the 757, the A321XLR is drawing orders from established Boeing customers like American Airlines and United Airlines. In terms of performance, the A321XLR outperforms Boeing's current offerings in the single aisle segment. While the Boeing 737 MAX family, particularly the MAX 8 and 9, are competitive in terms of efficiency on shorter routes, they are not as long range as the A321XLR. The A321XLR can fly up to 4,700 nautical miles, significantly more than any 737 MAX variant. Airbus appears to be gaining the upper hand in the market as of 2021. The A321neo family, which includes the XLR, had secured over 3,000 orders, significantly outpacing Boeing's competing offerings. This opens up route possibilities that Boeing's single-aisle aircraft simply can't match the A321XLR, also presents a challenge to some of Boeing's smaller wide-body aircraft, such as certain 787 Dreamliner variants on routes, where the full capacity of a wide-body isn't needed.